When thinking about olive oil, have you heard the terms virgin, extra virgin, vu, or evu thrown around and you had no idea what this meant? Well, then you've come to the right place because I am going to be breaking down all of this terminology for you in this video. By the end of this video, you will have everything you need in order to choose the right variety of olive oil for you and your family to be as healthy as possible. Hey there, I'm Dr. Anna. I'm a medical doctor. I was trained in Italy and in this channel, you are going to learn everything you need to know to master the Mediterranean diet. All right, first let's clear up some of this terminology. Olive oil. Olive oil is simply the oil that comes from olives when they are crushed or pressed. Now, if you know something about the Mediterranean diet or you've been following this approach to eating, olive oil is one of the core components. And that makes sense because 70% of the world's supply of olive oil comes from countries around the Mediterranean Sea. So the highest producer of olive oil in the world is Spain, but shortly followed by Greece, Italy, Turkey, Morocco, and even Tunisia. And if you want to know a little bit more about how olive oil is made and where it comes from, I have a link in the description below for you. So you'll want to check that out. All right. So why the term virgin? So the official definition for virgin is solely by mechanical or other physical means under conditions, particularly thermal conditions that do not lead to alterations in the oil and which have not undergone any treatment other than washing, decantation, centrifugation, and filtration. Meaning there is no part of the process of extracting the oil from the olives that is altering any of the chemical properties. If you want to know a little bit more about the technicalities for this, I have a link in the description below as well. Now I have a really awesome research article that breaks down a little bit more about olive oil and its chemical properties and things that we need to know to understand its health benefits. So in this article, they state, According to their quality and upon international agreement in alignment with the trade standard applying to olive oils and olive pomace oils of the International Olive Council, virgin olive oils can either be classified as extra virgin olive oil or as simply virgin olive oil. So you might have heard the acronym EVU and that just stands for extra virgin olive oil. VOO or VU is not necessarily something that people throw around in conversation, but it will refer to virgin olive oil. Oil. Now, a little technicality for you. Now, what makes something extra virgin as opposed to just virgin? Well, that has to do with the quantity or the amount of something called the free acidity inside of the oil. So by definition, extra virgin olive oil has no more than 0.8 grams per 100 grams of oil inside of it, meaning there are no sensory or smell, which is called organoleptic with fancy terminology, defects. So these oils, the extra virgin olive oils, have the optimal taste and flavor profile of olive oil. They are the least processed, they are the least altered, and they have the most flavor and health benefits. Now, virgin olive oil is still pretty close to perfect, but it does have a little bit more of that free acidity level. And by definition, it is no more than two grams per 100 grams. And these oils may carry some sensory, meaning smell or taste changes in the oil. That was a lot of technicality, but if you're enjoying this content so far and you're learning something new, I want you to subscribe to my channel where I am going to keep bringing you all of this useful information so that you can master the Mediterranean diet and apply these principles to your health today. Now we talked about some of the properties of the olive oil being preserved when extra virgin or virgin olive oil approaches our are applied. But let's talk a little bit more about what these chemical properties are that are so useful to us. Both virgin and extra virgin olive oil have manufacturing approaches to extracting the oil that maximize its health benefit within the oil. What that means is they use a technique that allows the extra molecules that are healthy for us inside the oil, things called polyphenols, to be remaining at a very high level. And when polyphenols remain at a very high level, that actually helps boost the healthy properties of that olive oil for our bodies. There's a ton of medical research that is showing the boosting health benefits of these polyphenols inside of food and things like olive oil. So I have a link in the description below to some articles if you're interested in learning more about these polyphenols. But what's the take-home message? The take-home message is that these polyphenols are healthy for us and thus olive oils that have preserved levels of polyphenols in them are going to be healthier 
and tastier for using in our diets. Now, I know the word polyphenol is a bit of a mouthful, but what you need to know about it is that it has numerous health benefits linked to the consumption. So these are things like antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, as well as benefits to the prevention of lots of diseases. Think of things like cardio or metabolic disease. So this is heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and obesity-related diseases, as well as risk factors for heart disease. And we want to have those anti-inflammatory properties in our food because a lot of chronic diseases that are plaguing our society are linked to higher levels of inflammation in our body. So the more anti-inflammatory food we can incorporate into our diet, the better off we are. Now for those of you who love the details, there are some specific polyphenols that are a little bit more famous for having these health boosting benefits, and they have some research backing them up. Now, two of these that are notable are hydroxytyrosol and its derivatives and oleic acid. Now, those are a mouthful, and I wouldn't necessarily suggest you go running to the supplement store and start popping these things as pills because a lot of the health benefits of the Mediterranean diet come from eating these nutrients when they are naturally in the foods that they come from. And all of the research about the health boosting properties of eating a Mediterranean diet come from that exactly, a Mediterranean diet overall, not necessarily supplementing with the specific nutritional components. We want to make sure that we are eating healthy foods that provide us lots of nutrition, not just anti-inflammatory properties, but also healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, healthy fiber, healthy proteins. You get the idea. Not to mention, it's going to be a lot more cost effective to try to eat foods that are nutrient dense with lots of health boosting benefits rather than buying supplements of all of the individual components because that might ultimately cost a lot more. Now, my question for you is which type of olive oil are you buying? Is there a specific brand or a variety that you love? Comment and share with us below so that we can learn from each other and taste lots of tasty olive oils. It's kind of like wine. Different oils might have different smells or tastes, so it's nice to learn a little bit of variety when we can. And if you've been liking this video so far, I want you to hit that thumbs up button, like this video, and share it with at least three people that you think could benefit from learning more about olive oil so that they can incorporate this very healthy and tasty oil into their diet. Now, if you're not just satisfied with what I've talked about here and you got to know more and you're craving to learn as much as you can about the Mediterranean diet, you're going to wanna check out this video right up here where I talk about how to start the Mediterranean diet, what you need to know if you're an absolute beginner. Go ahead, check out that video. I'll see you over there.